Yo, I'm Natesy, and today we are going to be realistically, or as realistic as I can, be rebuilding Arsenal in FIFA 21 career mode. Now, the main objective will be to win a Premier League title, and whether that takes me one season or three seasons, or even more, I mean, you have to find out if you watch the video, um, but that's the main objective here, so for any career mode fans or Arsenal fans, let me know what you guys think about this, let me know what you guys think about the players I sign or how realistic it may be but um, all I know it's it's going to be entertaining so stay tuned and uh, let's get into it now these will be the settings if anyone cares just go ahead and pause if you want to see it as you guys see here the first two players sold and out of the club the first one is Socrates he's going to Villarreal for an 8.4 mil we'll take the money there and Granit Xhaka who is going to Juve or Piemonte Calcio for a 28 mil so some good money there by two players that were not in the plan we'll take that bang bang boys our first player bot is here and you could probably see this one from a mile away it is Hussam Awar the central midfielder from Olympic Leon he is going to be our new number 10 and I know you might be saying isn't Ozo the number 10 right now yeah he is but as you can see, we actually included Ozo in this deal, so it was Ozo plus 61 mil, and Leon has accepted that. Now, Awar is going to be a massive player for us, especially to pair alongside new summer signing as well, Thomas Party. He's a player that's been heavily linked with Arsenal in real life, so I really like this signing. It, it had to be done, boys. It had to be done. Exciting times. Another player has been sold this time. It's David Luiz. He's going to Manchester United here for 9 mil. Uh, he was a player that I wasn't going to use at all. He wasn't in the upcoming plans. Of course, he's old, 33 years old, and 85k a week. Yeah, get him out of here. We'll take the money right now and run. Now it is Kolas Shinak who moves to Newcastle United, and this deal comes at around 20 mil, which is honestly much more than I expected to get from him. So I will take that all day because I wasn't planning on using him either. I think the left back spot is solidified, and we, we just won't need him in the future. So I'll take all the money I can get for him as well. Oh boy, we have splashed the cash, boys. 79 mil for Mikel Oyarzabal from Real Sociodaddy. He's 23 years old, and I, I really like this signing. Now, I really like Saka, and he's definitely a part of the plans, but unfortunately, he's only 75 rated on FIFA, and we are in win-now mode, so I think Oyarzabal helps us massively there. Now, I know it might not be the most realistic thing for Arsenal to be spending, you know, 80 mil, but it's career mode. That sense might be not the most realistic, but the signings, I'm going to try to make them, you know, have some sort of connection here. So, you know, the Spanish, Mikel Arteta, we're going to bring in, you know, he, this guy's name is even Mikel, you know, the double Mikels, Mikel or Yarzabal. Welcome to the team, though. He's slotting in that left wing, boys, our new number 11. This is a big signing, our biggest one yet. So stay tuned. Man, here is our big first sell here, and it is Alexander Lacazette moving to Barcelona. Now, it was tough selling him, but he wasn't in the plans either with Aubameyang starting at striker and currently training Martinelli to be the backup striker. So Lacazette was really in the plans and any money we could get for him would be a bonus. And we got 45 mil for him. He was already 29 and not just 45 mil, but the 170k contract there as well. As you can see, it's good money and money that is much needed after that Oyarzabal signing. And we can invest it somewhere else, somewhere else in the squad that would be much more necessary. So... This signing, I think, was a good one on both parts. Callum Chambers, another player leaving the club here. This time, it is to Everton for around the 14 million mark. So, we'll take the money as well. 25 years old. I like Callum Chambers, but he was pretty far down the pecking order. So, 14 mil is, is some good money and good value for him. Another massive signing is here, boys, and this time it is the center back from RB Leipzig, Diot Upamikano. I think Diot, Diot, I don't know. But for 51 mil, he is one of the most in demand center backs in the world right now. So for the French international to come to London here and be a part of the Gunners is going to be exciting. He's going to be our main center back, our main rock, and it's exciting to have him paired with Gabriel and William Saliba. So Exciting times, man. Exciting times. We have splashed the cash, but I think we have filled pretty much every hole in our starting team. And I think we look extremely strong now. I'm excited to see how we do this season.
for the first game of the Premier League season. We are going to uh, sim it here and watch over it. As you can see our lineup, we are running a 5-3-2, 5-2-3, my bad. Leno, Bellerin, and Tierney on the wings, wing backs. Upamikano, Holding, and Mustafi. For some reason, Gabriel was like low fitness, so he's not starting here. Awar and Thomas, two-man midfield there. And then the front three, of course, Pepe, Oyarzabal, the new signing, and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Let's start off the season with three points, boys. Come on. And Pepe's already through. Hold up. Pepe, what do you do? Penalty? What's going on? We got a penalty. Oh, we're going to jump in, boys. We're going to jump in. First goal with Nicolas Pepe, our main penalty taker. I'm going to I'm gonna do some cheese here. I hope it works. Let's see here. Uh, right here. If you don't know, I play foot champ, so. I. What a save. What in the world? Brighton playing some one twos in midfield right now, holding the ball very well against our team, but our team is keeping their shape, playing very well, holding them out. Just kidding. Damn. Second half begins here, and we have the ball we need to capitalize here. We need not only a goal, but two to hopefully secure the three points here. Some magic is happening in Aubameyang scores the first goal of the season. Come on, Pierre Emerick. It is leveled at one, boys. Come on, we have 40 minutes left. Practically a whole nother half. Come on. Playing out the back here very nicely. Find a yards ball to Aubameyang. Dribbles out wide. A yards ball in the middle. Drifting out and Aubameyang's in some space here. Can he do something? Some magic here now. Sam Awar gets his first goal for the club, and it's a massive one, boys. Come on, you gunners. Come on. Tierney's going to dribble it back here. Good possession play from the boys. Can Aubameyang get a brace here? Shot is blocked, but Nicola Pepe. Aubameyang gets his brace, and it's 3-1, boys. This game looks secured, and three points are in the bag. Come on. Boys, the game is over. We went down 1-0 and I missed a penalty immediately, which scared me. But our boys brought it back. New summer signing Hussam Awar with a huge goal for us to go up 2-1. And then Aubameyang finishes it off with a brace there. And we win three win, three points in the bag against Brighton. We will take that all day. And that's a very promising start to what hopefully is a great, great season. Come on. All right, we got a double signing now, boys. We have picked up Lauza from FC Nantes. Uh, and this was 4.5 mil plus El Nenny. Now, I wasn't offering El Nenny in the, at first, but they're actually the ones that asked for him. For, so I ended up just accepting the deal. He's going to be a backup midfielder for us here. He's 21 years old, so he's uh, going to be good for now and especially the future. So just someone as a rotational piece here, someone very under the radar. I like the signing, and if a double signing, I said at the beginning, we also got Vitaly Michalenko for just under 15 mil here from Dinamo Kiev. He is a promising left back, 21 years old, so he will play as second fiddle to Tierney, of course. And these are just two rotational pieces that I didn't want to splash the cash on, of course, but just some low, low tier, but very young and promising players here that we got. So those are two signings, boys. I think I think our squad is looking very set now, but we do have a little money left. I'll see what I can do if we need anything else. But as of right now, I'm really content with the squad we've built. As you guys can see, we are now on the 1st of January. Now, from the last time where you guys saw me a couple seconds ago, probably, but a few minutes from me, uh, nothing has happened ever since that double signing. I decided to sim all the way to the uh, winter transfer window here. Sorry. And... Uh, I haven't seen, I don't know anything. I wasn't even paying attention when I simmed, so everything is going to be as new to me as it is to you guys. So let's go check this out and see how we're doing in the league. We need to, shield, we don't, we need to sim that. Oh my god. Oh, we're in second. Why, why was it like that? All right, we're in second currently, though, which is very good. It's a very close top three race here between uh, City, Arsenal, us, and uh, Tottenham. 47, 46, 45. Very interesting there. Uh, United are in fourth, Liverpool fifth interesting Chelsea all the way down in eighth and the relegation battle is West Brom Crystal Palace and Leeds 
Fulham in 15th place, with the, which is very, uh, very promising for them. But second place, I can't complain with that in our first season, our first few months together. 14 wins, 4 draws, and 3 losses. We've scored 45 goals and only allowed 18, which is the exact same amount as City. Uh, <laughs> very interesting there. But let's go... I'll go check on everything and I'll keep you guys updated in one moment here. There, but I have not checked out our squad yet. So I don't know the ratings or anything. So this is quite exciting. Let's change the squad right now. Wow. Wow. Do you guys see Oyarzabal? 89 overall? That is insane. Why is party minus two? Zero sharpness. What is going on there? All right, Oyarzabal is 80. Oh my god, boys. The money must have been well spent. Man, is insane. 93 attack position, 90 stamina, 93 ball control, 93 dribbling, 92 finishing. Oh my goodness. This guy grows at an insane rate. He's 89 overall. I was not expecting that. Pepe is... Unfortunately, only went up one on Bebbing. Obviously, 31 years old, stays the same. Awar is all the way up to an 85. Wow. Party, which is he's minus two because he has no sharpness, but that means he's an 86, which is good. Tierney's all the way up to an 82. Holding 78. Gabrielle, 82. I think he was 78. And Uba Mikano's all the way up at 84. I think I believe that is a plus four. Bellerin and Tierney, the 82 bros. And Leno is up to 87. Very interesting there. Sack up a bit. Sabio's up a bit. Everyone growing a little bit. Maitland Niles joining the 80 overall club. Welcome. <laughs> Mustafi leaving the 80 overall club. See you later. Saliba getting up to a 76. Oh, the new boys. Both went up plus one, I believe. Not bad. Very interesting, boys. Our squad looks very good and very strong. So that, that's very promising. All right. Now I'm going to go check out the player stats here for the Premier League. Let's get. Wow. The f wow. So the current top scorer right now in the Premier League on the 1st of January is Mikel Oyarzabal. Boys, the 79 mil. Call me crazy. It might be it might have been a bargain. Oh my god, he is leading the entire league in goals right now. Coming in at left wing. Wow, we have found ourselves a gem, boys. In second place is Chelsea's new big signing, Kai Havertz in third. The usual suspect Harry Kane there. Very interesting. We see uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang down in 11th place with eight, assi eight, eight goals. My bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Do we have anyone else in here? We got Awar with seven goals from midfield. That is very, very, imp very impressive there. Nobody else. Can we get some assists? Wow, we got three City Boys up top. Kevin De Bruyne, obviously. You expect him to be up there. Zinchenko looks like he's getting <laughs> getting a handful of games at left back. And Aguero is pitching in as well. Willian is actually our top assister. And number four in the entire league with five assists right now. Very interesting there. Ayarza ball with four assists as well. Wow, what an, what an insane season he's having, huh? And Leno is on top of the league for clean sheets, which is very nice to see as well. All right, boys, we are now in the 1st of May, the last month of the Premier League season here. And I'm excited to see how we're doing here. And if we're anywhere near the first spot or in first spot, we will play that last game and hold up the trophy. That's what I'm hoping for. The manager rating is 72. That's even lower than what it was before. But I see the standings. Boys, we were in first. We were in, yeah, I can't even talk. We're in first. We're in first. 83 points in City, our game one game behind but we are still six points above them oh my god we're actually in first no way we're in first city in second liverpool third tottenham in fourth united in fifth chelsea in sixth the top six are the strong six it's very realistic here from fifa and i i applaud them for that we have 26 wins five draws and four losses 76 goals scored which is i believe the most in the league and 30 allowed, which is a great ratio here. Let's see what's going on. This is a very, like, realistic table. You know, if, if we took over Arsenal, of course, they'd be first. You know, and then we got City and Liverpool, of course. Next two up. Tottenham United, the big six are all there. Then we got Wolves. We got Everton, West Ham, Leicester. Oh, my God. I really like this table. Who getting relegated, though? Oh, Leeds. Not Leeds. 
Leeds look like they're going down for sure. West Brom and then Fulham, who are in a battle with Crystal Palace and Brighton and even Sheffield United. Could be an interesting last few games for them there. Wow, boys, I'm I'm really excited here. I'm going to check on the emails and then I will go over the stats and our team in one moment. All right, after checking the stats and everything, it is time to check the squad, which I have not seen at all. So it's going to be all new to me. Very excited. Has the yards well hit 90? With the way he's playing, I'm pretty sure he has, right? Let's go check it in. 3, 2, 1, 91. Oh my god, boys, look at the squad. Here, I'll go off it because it's like a little bright there. Well, Yarzabal is a 91 overall. Boys, the 80 mil is, is chump change. Looking at it now, well, that, like, that is amazing. He's the top scorer. He's at, at 7 assists as well, which is top joint joint top for our squad. Wow, he is he's becoming a real steal. Oh, Pepe, okay, let's go in, let's go, let's go in. Abemian goes down, which is unfortunate, but he's not having the best season. And of course, he is 31 years old. Dude, I cannot believe a yards ball. I mean, could you imagine this card on the ultimate team? He would have 88 pace, 89 shot, 85 passing, 91 dribbling. Three star, five star as well. I was training him with the weak foot, which is why that is up. Man, he is unbelievable. 92 finishing for a winger. <laughs> Wow, that is unreal. Pepe gone up to 85, which is very promising. Very happy of him. Five star, five star now after the training as well. Very promising there. Arsenal's previous record signing, who is coming to light now, Awar. What was he when I signed him? 82, right? Plus six. That is ridiculous. I mean, he's having the same amount of like uh, development as Oyarzabal, which I thought was an insane rate, but Awar is just right there with him. Look at his stats. 80 pace, 78 shooting, 89 passing, 88 dribbling, 66 defending, and 76 physical. I mean, he is the most perfect center midfielder that we could have, especially alongside a uh, defensive powerhouse in Thomas Partey, who unfortunately is unhappy right now, but he's he's still eight, he's 85 overall, which is good. Tierney's up to an 84 as well as Bellerin. Those two just love being the same rating. <laughs> Holding didn't go up since January. Gabriel up to an 84. Wow, that is a big jump from him. Him and Upamecano both up six. I mean, the team is in good form. This this is looking very good, boys. This is amazing. 86 overall Upamecano. I mean, at 50 mil, it's got to be a steal, right? It's got to be a steal. He's one of the most in-demand footballers in the world right now, and we'll take him all day long. Leto still an 87. All right, guys. As you know, we got three games remaining, so I'm going to sim cast them or sim live i guess sim live all of them because as you know we're in first place right now so we cannot be afford we cannot afford to be losing any points here this is very vital so hopefully we can get away with the dub here we got our strongest lineup out there and they haven't let us down all season so hopefully that can keep going we have the ball here in their third some great passes around nicholas pepe is dangerous in these positions he whips it in Oh, or Yarzabal. One of the best players in the world, and he gets stopped by McCarthy there. But a great opportunity for us, indeed. And we're getting... Oh, no. Kavechi? Kavechi? I don't even know who that is, but... Boys, we're down 1-0. I mean, the Sim Live curse is real. We always go down 1-0. Man, hopefully we can bring this back. There it is, boys. A 1-0 loss to Southampton. That could be crucial to this title race. That is not the way we wanted to start this month. Going, coming out with zero points. I mean, man, this is gonna this is gonna make the race very interesting now. All right, guys. The second to last game, and it is against 19th place West Brom. We need to come out of this game with three points minimum. City won their last game, so they're only they are three points behind us, but they are also a game behind. So if they do get the three points, we would be level. This game was massive, so massive, and it's against 19th place West Brom. Come on, boys! They never seem to whip it in. Abemiang, Abemiang, come on! That's a massive goal, boys. 30 minutes in, we're up 1-0. Come on, come on. Awar, Awar, <laughs> Awar scores, 2-0 boys, 2-0, couple of the whistle ref, come on, that is 3 points, and that is so big for the title race, let's go see what's going on boys, 
Do you guys see what I see? I believe City drew their last game, which only gives them a point. So they're at 84, and we're on level games now, which means if we can get a draw here, I believe we win the league. Now, let me check. Did they actually draw? How do you... They drew with... The, oh my god, they drew with the team we're about to play. Everton, are they Are they the title killers? Oh man, we'll have to find out, but we're gonna we're gonna play this whole game and hopefully come away with a guaranteed W. As you can see here, that's the team they're running with. We're gonna run with our lineup that we've been running all year. As you can see on the top, right below the time, we are on ultimate difficulty. And that's A. Let's get it rolling. Let's get into it, boys. First kickoff in the first game we are playing here until, uh, since that uh, penalty miss on the first game of the season here. Now, I, I'd be lying if I said I used a five in the back formation this year so far, but let's see how it does. We're gonna hold the ball here. Nothing. I cannot break up Everton's back line right now. Nah, bad pass right there. Oh, Hamez, it's all right. As long as he doesn't get it on his left foot, it's not too dangerous. We can tackle there by holding, but we can see the corner. Can the boys defend? Clear it. Cordoba, Aubameyang gets it. I'm going to run on the wings here. No one should be able to catch Pierre and Marik Aubameyang. Play it back here. Tierney's making a great run. Uh, hit the post. No, that was such a big chance. Oh, another big chance there by Yarazabal. Awar hits the post very early on. Could have been a very big goal for us there. Great opportunity. Good find. 1 2 game with Awar here. Aubameyang. What a save by Pickford, man. A great opportunity. A great cross by Kieran Tierney, but. They make a great block, man. Some great chances, though. I feel good. I feel good about the way we're playing. I feel great about how the squad feels. I'm confident we can come away with some points here, hopefully. Tierney, can you get there? Great header. Great header, man. Good skill there by Alwar. You can see Aubameyang through here. He's got space to run. He fake shot in. Aubameyang! The double ball roll! Do this backflip. Is that a backflip for the title? We'll have to see, boys. That's a massive, massive goal by us. Come on. Come on. The fans are loving it. Look at them. They're jumping all over the place. Bellerin on a great run here. I get to the byline. I whip it in. Whoa. How did Pepe not score? Did he just... Did he mess... Did he scuff the ball? No, boys, that was such a big chance. We are creating so big. This should be First time? 2-0, boys. 2-0. He has his celebration, right? Oh, no. What the? What is his celebration? The... What is... I actually have no idea, but that... I know that wasn't it, but... I mean... He can't, he can't contain his nerves right now. And the fans I, I in the Emirates are blowing up the stadium right now. Fantastic pass by Aubameyang. And Nicolas Pepe gets it. Come on. What is this? Not, nothing out of it, really. Dini has some space here. Hold up. We got we to gotta close this out. Upamikano. Upamikano. Gets the ball twice, but doesn't come away with it. Everton's still looking dangerous here in our third. Some great defending here by Thomas. 
Don't let him shoot. Oh my god, Calvert Lewin has scored, boys. But if I can recall, City are still drawing with Fulham. What, what Calvert Lewin, what are you doing running across the entire pitch, man? You're not even winning the game. Bamiang, that's it, boys. We've done it. Do the game winning backflip here, Emmerich Aubameyang. Come on. Come on, boys. I think we've only gone and done it. Now, any second, just blow it. They're not going to do anything. Premier League champions, boys, in the first season. Thomas? Let's go. Let's go, baby. We've done it. And now let's celebrate. Look at the crowd going crazy, man. Do I miss seeing people in the stands? Oyarz of all, the main man of the year. Unfortunately, was a little bit quiet in this final game, I will say. Especially in that second half, but it doesn't matter. Because he, he did every. Why is the camera like floating in the middle there? Did, did anyone else see that? boys are celebrating what a fantastic season it has been and now we are lining up to get our Premier League medals Aubameyang of course the captain of the club and the last one to get it Oyarz of all I mean what a signing he was man and I, I don't actually I don't know the stats but last time I checked he was top scorer and top or top assist for our team but top goal scorer of the league and Aubameyang do the honors As our first rebuilding video is coming to an end here, I will just scroll through all of my player stats here by uh, the top with appearances, top to bottom here. So Leno57, he somehow got himself four assists here. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the last segment here. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed. It was the first of hopefully many more. Uh, many other teams I am willing to do if you, you guys can leave any team you want in the comments down below And I will try my best to you know rebuild them bring them to a championship and to a Title in their respective league whatever league it may be I'm willing to try it and hopefully try to make it as realistic as possible, but of Of course, I'm gonna it's career mode. I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna use you know all my all the resources that I have I'm gonna sell players. I'm gonna buy players we're going to try to make the best team we can as soon as we can and just compete. So I think that is going to be the end of this first episode, boys. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like and even consider hitting that subscribe button. And we could definitely do a lot more of these as well as other FIFA videos as well. Maybe experiments or anything like that. Anything you have in mind, please leave it down in the comments and comment your favorite, you know, your favorite part in the video as well. I would, I'll read every comment and respond. So, yeah, we're getting to the bottom here. None of these guys even played. Shout out Jordan Giles, our youth player. But, uh, yeah, boys, I will see you in the next video. Take care and peace out.